For most, modern life is full of stresses. Everything is fast-paced, instant, microwavable, and over before you can blink. Stardew Valley is a response to this. For me and many others, it's more than a game. It's a retreat, a holiday, and an opportunity to just slow down for a while. Welcome to Rec Point. I'm Dan, and let's see why you should take a trip to Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley was developed by one man, Eric Barone, also known as Concerned Ape. The opening tells you everything you need to know about Stardew Valley. From his deathbed, your grandfather gives you a letter and tells you to open it when the weight of the world gets too much. Cut to an oppressive modern office, you know, maybe customer service, a place where even the pencils have the occasional suicidal thought. That's when we open the letter and discover our grandfather's gift. It's a farm in disrepair and run down, but all our own. This is the promise of Stardew Valley, a reprieve from the stresses of modern life, a place to explore, meet new friends, and ultimately an opportunity to make your own little simulated home. Stardew Valley invites you in by satisfying two itches. One is a childlike mystery, the sense that there is magic in the mundane, fairies at the end of the garden. This sense tugs at your heart and urges you to explore, discover, and reveal the secrets squirreled away in the corners of Stardew Valley. The other is a sense of progression, that strange wave of calm that comes over you after organizing a draw or making a to-do list. Or maybe that little mind orgasm you get when you level up in an RPG. Exploration and progression are the masterfully crafted core of Stardew Valley, a core that is wrapped in so much adorable charm that I want to crush it in my bare hands. You start with a small amount of money. The game walks you through how to plant your first lot of crops, and from there, each harvest garners you more money. You get by selling your newly acquired eggplants, pumpkins, or whatever you decided to inhabit your farm with. With this money, you can expand your farm. Perhaps you buy more seeds. Maybe you make a preserves jar so that you can pickle your vegetables and sell them for more. Maybe you pop over to the carpenter shop and purchase a coop so that you can house chickens and sell their eggs. There is so much variety in the options you have that even after a few hours, no person's farm looks the same and you are getting that constant dopamine drip of growth and progression. However, to get further in this progression, you will need to engage with some of the other activities in Stardew Valley. For example, say you want to set up a sprinkler system to water your plants. We are going to need some iron and gold bars and for that you're going to take a trip to the mines. At the mines, you're going to find over a hundred levels of stone, ore, and a whole bunch of mean baddies who want to do nasty things to you. The deeper you get, the rarer the ores, but the stronger the enemies. The combat system you deal with these enemies with is simple, but the different items like swords and boots lend the experience a new level of progression. Requiring a visit to the mine is just one way that Stardew Valley directs the player's behaviour and keeps itself varied. Without this kind of direction, it would be tempting to just focus on building your farm, which would eventually get mundane and boring. Now, I don't often advocate for developers directing player choice, but in this case it makes for a much better game, and Stardew Valley is fantastic at it. Take the energy system for example. Doing farm work, mining or fishing uses up some of your daily energy reserves, seen in the bar at the bottom right. This usually takes up until about 12pm or maybe even earlier, leaving you with the rest of the day to explore the valley or meet some of its residents. Then there's the museum and the community centre. These require you to farm, scavenge or mine certain items, giving you special rewards in return. It encourages the player to engage with every facet of this game. Fortunately, every facet has something unique to offer. Given the amount of poodling about you'll be doing, it's lucky that there is a lot to see in Stardew Valley. It may seem like your run-of-the-mill small village, but there is something magical about this place. Like what's going on in the sewers, and why is there a wizard tower in the forest? Then there's the seasonal events, like a luau or a fair, an opportunity to meet all of the villagers in one place, while seeing the village completely transformed. There are even quests that you can do. 
These can be a simple case of growing certain types of vegetables for people, but these can also get weird and sort of mystical. Ultimately, these quests are best for increasing how much the inhabitants like you, but like everything else I've mentioned, they lend Stardew Valley a palpable sense of place. The social aspect of Stardew Valley is where a lot of the charm comes from. Interacting with the locals can feel a little bit like a soap opera. Like why are Major Lewis's boxer shorts in Marnie's room, and why is he sending me on a weird mission to steal them back? Becoming friends with these people is fairly simple, give them gifts that they like or complete tasks for them. For this you get rewarded with some of the most charming little scripted events ever and maybe some recipes to cook. Later you can get married and have kids, but these aren't very well fleshed out systems and they can feel a little like set dressing. Talking of set dressing, this game is great to look at. Everything has this adorable but very tidy appearance. Each character animation is over the top, while its colour palette is bright and inviting, making the valley an even better place to be. Ultimately, Stardew Valley's farming, mining, exploration and social interaction make for a little holiday from the real world. None of it is particularly complicated, it's just a way to make a little world for yourself. I spent just over 100 hours in Stardew Valley. At the end, I sat back and looked at my wife, kids and farm. I felt a bit of satisfaction. My little holiday from the real world was over, but I wouldn't be forgetting Stardew Valley anytime soon. If you haven't gone on this trip yourself, get on the bus to Stardew Valley as soon as you can. And if you have, let me know what you thought in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for a new game recommendation every week. Well folks, it's been a while, sorry about the lack of videos over the last month or so. I've been wrapping up my master's degree so I've been a little bit busy. Don't worry though, I've got some more free time at the moment so I'm going to be getting some other projects done to make it up for you. Um, anyway, thanks for understanding and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time.